Greetings, everyone. Today's message comes from Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10 from the NLT translation. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so that we can do good things he planned for us long ago. All right, today's message, walk in righteousness, not spiritual superstition. Okay, we are to follow God's word and try to do God's will, you know, the will for our lives. And we can do that, you know, with belief. It takes belief to, in order to follow and to, to do whatever God wants us to do. You know, that gives us the ability to access the power that is within us. It's hard to be um, a true believer if you're questioning every step that you make. So that's that doubt. And that's where superstition comes in. Am I making the right decisions? You know, it's not about you. It's about him. So if you feel like God has told you something, you move with that. Unless he tells you otherwise, that's what you do. You stand in belief. And when God gives you something, if he gives you a goal, um, it's like the illustration he gave me with a fast break. If you watch basketball or play basketball, there's a play called a fast break. That's when uh, one player gets the ball and he's pretty much um, going to score and he's by himself. And the only way he can mess up is if he messes up on his own. The fence is not really against him, you know. So it's like this. When you're running on a fast break, you're taught to focus on the goal, not to look back. Because as soon as you look back is when you don't give all you got. You know, you're focused on the enemy. No, no, no. You go to that goal. If someone comes behind and blocks, oh well. But until that, you just go and try to score. So that's what God has revealed to me that we're supposed to do when he gives us instructions. You go for the fast break points. Get that dunk, get the layup, whatever it is. All right? I love you guys. Take care and have a wonderful, wonderful day. God bless.